in, in my book, uh, The Conscious Universe, and a couple of other books and several articles, um, uh, my collaborators and myself have put forward the thesis um, that, in fact, um, it is the underlying stuff of the universe. Um, you may say it may sound an extremely uh, profound uh, statement, but actually uh, I think it's uh, uh, exceedingly uh, simple and beautiful. Uh, and the, the practical aspects of what I'm referring to is that we ourselves, uh, we never really question our existence. We know we exist. We never question our own ability to be aware of ourselves. Uh, we take it for granted. So maybe it is as simple as that, that those things that we take for granted are the underlying stuff of the universe. And as such, uh, it, uh, consciousness then would pre-exist or would exist outside of space and time. And you may say, well, how can that be? Um, we, we are in space and time. Well, our physical bodies are in space and time. Uh, but our awareness maybe is beyond space and time. As we talk, I, can, I even pose the question that maybe we can be outside of space and time. The very fact that even posing that question, making that statement, says that something is outside of space and time. Otherwise, how would I be able to even make that statement if I was bound by space-time? So our mental abilities, the mind, let's say, is much less bound than the physical body. And of course, the mind is sort of an opening to this underlying awareness that I call consciousness.